big fan of big history myself. And so uh, my big history is one of uh, starting out as a global citizen. My father's American, my mother's German, my grandfather uh, was German, and my grandmother was Austrian, and many aunts and uncles were mixed between Italy and France and Spain. And from a young age, I was already a global baby or a global citizen traveling around the world and learning different languages and speaking different languages and time spent between the US and uh, Europe mainly. I um, <clears throat> grew up half and half between the United States and uh, Europe and mainly Southern Germany and Austria. Um, my uh, family were the owners of uh, six generations of Germany's largest organic farms and Europe's third largest organic farms. And uh, one of my aunts married a, a gentleman um, who had hydroponics uh, uh, agriculture in his, uh, his family of, of uh, three generations. And um, uh, when they passed on, one of my cousins took that over, but as a little, uh, not as a little, but as a young adult, I worked on uh, the nurseries and in the hydroponic farms as well as the organic farms. I have uh, degrees from several universities Singularity, MIT, Lucerius Law School, uh, University of Phoenix, University of Utah, Salt Lake Community College, uh, Colorado, um, Rocky Mountain uh, Institute in uh, Denver, Colorado, and uh, probably a few that I'm forgetting. I'm an adjunct professor at several universities. Um, I work with uh, Berlin School for Sustainable Futures, Potsdam Institute for Climate Change, also with um, the United Nations Sustainable De Development Solutions Network. With uh, I like to see that uh, you was on the call and, and he mentioned that he's alumni of Columbia, which is a uh, Columbia University, and Jeffrey Sachs, who runs that uh, organization for the UN. Um, and probably many others that I'm forgetting. I am um, um, currently living in Hamburg, Germany, but I, like I said, I'm a global citizen. I travel quite a bit, uh, do a lot of carbon offsetting and educating uh, organizations and international organizations around the world and do the innovation hub for uh, World Economic Forum as well as um, expert for climate change social innovation, innovation in agriculture, food and beverages. Um, and for the United Nations, I work on three different projects, uh, the Sustainable Development Goals, the uh, Resilience Frontiers, and the Digital Ecosystem for the Earth. It's a geospatial compilation of digital tools uh, for the Earth. Um, I've spoken at innovative conferences and emerging technology conferences, and I'm a big global food reformist. Um, I've lived in many different countries and states th throughout the years and own 17 businesses myself and currently own four. Um, and uh, just so happy to be here. I, I know what one great thing is, is for me, this uh, COVID is, um, very sad that uh, we're in this situation as a planet, but uh, for me, I'm busier than ever. I've been working in the future for well over 10 years. Uh, uh, not only the humans of new work, but how you do and conduct business on a global basis with family and businesses and partners around the world. And um, so besides not being able to travel on a plane and being confined, not much, and the day-to-day -day activities has truly changed because I've been using the tools and uh, been acting in the future and those leaders that I'm affiliated with and that I know their businesses are still opening and running and they're still uh, finding themselves in, in a position today to help others in need. They're providing respirators and uh, tools 
to make sure that our world continues to run and those people who are suffering and having tr struggles now, that they can get those tools and the help that they need. Um, it'd be nice to, for us to show the rest of the world how we can get them up to speed and live in the future because it can be really nice and it can be really resilient and secure to live in as well. Um, one last thing is the big history of Mark is I was one of the first 50 people trained by Al Gore um, as a climate speaker in his ranch in Carthage, Tennessee. Um, I have mentors and friends like uh, William McDonough who wrote the book Upcycling and Cradle to Cradle with Michael Braungart. Michael Braungart lives here in Hamburg, Germany and um, they're the front runners of the circular economy thought uh, process. Ellen MacArthur, Danes, and part of that as well. Um, and uh, Fritz Hof Capra, Professor Fritz Hof Capra, uh, who wrote the book, The Tao of Physics, and the book, The System's View of Life, uh, as a mentor and, a, and um, someone who I've attended his courses on the system's view of life and systems thinking and how by using systems thinking and emerging technologies, we can solve the global grand challenges of our future. And I think that's about it, unless you think there's something I missed. <laughs>